The Cloud of Unknowing Middle English, the Cloud of Unknowing is an anonymous work of Christian mysticism written in Middle English in the latter half of the 14th century. The text is a spiritual guide on contemplative prayer in the late Middle Ages. The underlying message of this work suggests that the way to know God is to abandon consideration of God's particular activities and attributes, and be courageous enough to surrender one's mind and ego to the realm of unknowing at which point one may begin to glimpse the nature of God. History The Cloud of Unknowing draws on the mystical tradition of Pseudo-Dionysus the Areopagite and Christian Neoplatonism, which focuses on the Via Negativa road to discovering God as a pure entity, beyond any capacity of mental conception and so without any definitive image or form. This tradition has reputedly inspired generations of mystical searchers from John Scotus Ereugena, Nicholas of Cusa, and John of the Cross, to Pierre Teilhard de Chardin the latter two of whom may have been influenced by the cloud itself. Prior to this, the theme of the cloud had appeared in the Confessions of St. Augustine X, 10, written in AD 398, the author is unknown. The English Augustinian mystic Walter Hilton has at times been suggested, but this is generally doubted. It is possible he was a Carthusian priest, though this is not certain. A second major work by the same author, The Book of Privy Counseling, originally titled Priv Counseling, continues the themes discussed in The Cloud. It is less than half the size of The Cloud, appears to be the author's final work, and clarifies and deepens some of its teachings. In this work, the author characterizes the practice of contemplative unknowing as worshipping God with one's substance coming to rest in a naked blind feeling of being, and ultimately finding thereby that God is one's being. Contents The book counsels a young student to seek God, not through knowledge and intellection faculty of the human mind, but through intense contemplation, motivated by love, and stripped of all thought. This is brought about by putting all thoughts and desires under a cloud of forgetting, and thereby piercing God's cloud of unknowing with a dart of longing love from the heart. This form of contemplation is not directed by the intellect, but involves spiritual union with God through the heart. For he can well be loved, but he cannot be thought. By love he can be grasped and held, but by thought, neither grasped nor held. And therefore, though it may be good at times to think specifically of the kindness and excellence of God, and though this may be a light and a part of contemplation, all the same, in the work of contemplation itself, it must be cast down and covered with a cloud of forgetting. And you must step above it stoutly but deftly, with a devout and delightful stirring of love, and struggle to pierce that darkness above you, and beat on that thick cloud of unknowing with a sharp dart of longing love, and do not give up, whatever happens. Chapters 39 and 40 recommend the focus on a single word as the means to invoke the fullness of God. When we intend to pray for goodness, let all our thought and desire be contained in the one small word, God. Nothing else and no other words are needed, for God is the epitome of all goodness. Immerse yourself in the spiritual reality it speaks of yet without precise ideas of God's works whether small or great, spiritual or material. Do not consider any particular virtue which God may teach you through grace, whether it is humility, charity, patience, abstinence, hope, faith, moderation, chastity, or evangelical poverty. For to a contemplative they are, in a sense, all the same. Let this little word represent to you God in all his fullness and nothing less than the fullness of God. Chapter 23 of the Book of Privy Counseling glorifies experience over knowledge. And so I urge you, go after experience rather than knowledge. On account of pride, knowledge may often deceive you, but this gentle, loving affection will not deceive you. Knowledge tends to breed conceit, but love builds. Knowledge is full of labor, but love, full of rest. Other works by the same author in addition to The Cloud of Unknowing and The Book of Privy Counseling, the Cloud author is believed to be responsible for a few other spiritual treatises and translations, including Dionys Hid Divinity, a free translation of the mystical theology by Pseudo-Dionysus the Areopagite. 
A vernacular translation of the mystical theology was unprecedented, however, it was clearly not widely read, since only two manuscripts survive. A letter of prayer, epistle of prayer, which survives in seven manuscripts online. A letter of discretion of stirrings, epistle of discretion of stirrings online, part six of the cell of self knowledge. It is possible, but doubtful, that he wrote a treatise of discernment of spirits, originally titled a treatise of discretion of spirites, a free translation of sermons de diversis nos twenty three to twenty four by Bernard of Clairvaux online. It is possible, but doubtful, that he wrote a treatise of the study of wisdom that men call Benjamin also called Pursuit of Wisdom, and, in its original, a treatise of the study of wisdom that men Kleppen Benjamin, an abbreviated and free translation of the Benjamin Minor by Richard of St. Victor online. Manuscripts <inaudible> 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 The Cloud of Unknowing has 17 known manuscripts. The two best known are British Library MS Harleian 674 and Cambridge University Library KK.V.26. These contain all seven of the works attributed to the cloud author, the former extensively glossed in Latin. Another important manuscript is British Library Harleian 2373, which contains all but Dionys' hid divinity. Later influence topic. Given its survival in only 17 manuscripts, The Cloud of Unknowing was not as popular in late medieval England as the works of Richard Roll or Walter Hilton, perhaps because The Cloud is addressed to solitaries and concentrates on the advanced levels of the mystical path. Two Latin translations of The Cloud were made in the late 15th century. One was made by Richard Methley, a Carthusian of the Charterhouse of Mount Grace in Yorkshire, and finished in 1491. The other is anonymous. Neither, however, enjoyed wide dissemination. This work became known to English Catholics in the mid-17th century, when the Benedictine monk, Augustine Baker (1575–1641), wrote an exposition on its doctrine based on a manuscript copy in the library of the Monastery of Cambrai in Flanders. The original work itself, however, was not published until 1877. English mystic Evelyn Underhill edited an important version of the work in 1922. The work has become increasingly popular over the course of the 20th century, with nine English translations or modernizations produced in this period. In particular, the cloud has influenced recent contemplative prayer practices. The practical prayer advice contained in the cloud of unknowing forms a primary basis for the contemporary practice of centering prayer, a form of Christian meditation developed by Trappist monks William Meninger, Basil Pennington and Thomas Keating in the 1970s. It also informed the meditation techniques of the English Benedictine John Main. The contemplation method urged in the cloud is similar to Buddhist meditation and modern transcendental meditation. For example, the last paragraph of Chapter 7 says, If you want to gather all your desire into one simple word that the mind can easily retain, choose a short word rather than a long one. A one-syllable word such as, God, or, Love, is best. But choose one that is meaningful to you. Then fix it in your mind so that it will remain there come what may. This word will be your defense in conflict and in peace. Use it to beat upon the cloud of darkness above you and to subdue all distractions, consigning them to the cloud of forgetting beneath you. References in popular culture Leonard Cohen refers to the cloud of unknowing in the 1979 song, The Window, from recent songs. James Blackshaw released an album in 2007 by the same name. John Luther Adams' orchestral work Clouds of Forgetting, Clouds of Unknowing, completed in 1995, was inspired by the Cloud of Unknowing. Steve Roach's album The Magnificent Void 1996 includes a track named Cloud of Unknowing. J.D. Salinger's novel Franny and Zoe 1961 refers to the Cloud of Unknowing in a passage where the characters are discussing contemplative prayer. W. Somerset Mom referenced the Cloud of Unknowing in The Razor's Edge. Todd Rundgren refers to the Cloud of Unknowing in the 1989 song, The Waiting Game, from Nearly Human. Current 93's 1994 album, Of Ruin or Some Blazing Starre, includes a song titled, The Cloud of Unknowing. 
In Don DeLillo's 1997 book, Underworld, Part 3 of 6 is entitled, The Cloud of Unknowing, Spring 1978. The character Rev. Ames in Gilead 2004 by Marilyn Robinson refers to the book several times in an introspective journal, Letter to His Son. Gorilla's 2010 album, Plastic Beach, includes a song titled, Cloud of Unknowing. Swan's 2016 album, The Glowing Man, includes two songs titled, Cloud of Forgetting, and Cloud of Unknowing. Appears atop a stack of religious volumes on the desk of Rev. Ernst Toller in Paul Schrader's 2017 film First Reformed. Editions Butcher, Carmen Acevedo 2018. The Cloud of Unknowing. Boston, Shambhala Pocket Edition. ISBN 978-1-61180-622-9. Butcher, Carmen Acevedo 2009. The Cloud of Unknowing with the Book of Privy Council. Boston, Shambhala. ISBN 978-1-59030-622-2. The Cloud of Unknowing, and the Book of Privy Counseling 1944, ed. Phyllis Hodgson. Early English Text Society. Oxford University Press, Hardback, ISBN 0-19-722218-8. The Cloud of Unknowing 1957. Translator, Ira Pragoff. Dell, Doubleday. 1983 Paperback, ISBN 0-440-31994-3, 1989 Paperback, ISBN 0-385-28144-7. Johnston, William. Preface, Houston Smith 1996-1973. The Cloud of Unknowing and the Book of Privy Counseling. New York, Image Books. ISBN 0-385-03097-5. First edition, 1973. John J. Kirvin, 1996. Where Only Love Can Go: A Journey of the Soul into the Cloud of Unknowing. Ave Maria Press. ISBN 0877935912. The Cloud of Unknowing and Other Works. Penguin Classics, 2001. ISBN 9780140447620. Translated by A. C. Spearing editions of related texts include Dionys Hid Divinite, and other treatises on contemplative prayer related to the Cloud of Unknowing 1955, ed. Phyllis Hodgson. Early English Text Society. Oxford University Press, 2002 paperback, 0859916987 The Pursuit of Wisdom, and other works by the author of The Cloud of Unknowing 1988, translator, James Walsh. Paulist Press Classics of Western Spirituality, paperback, ISBN 0-8091-2972-8. E-book Cloud of Unknowing PDF, Alt See also Apophatic theology, known also as the Via Negativa. Topic. Notes. Topic. Topic. References. Topic. Topic. External links. Topic. The Cloud of Unknowing read by Carmen Acevedo Butcher Introduction to Online Text with Analysis and Bibliography Online Text in Middle English, 2,528 lines in 75 chapters on one HTML page John Watkins 1922 London Edition with Introduction by Evelyn Underhill John Watkins 1922, London Edition, Multiple Formats CCEL the Cloud of Unknowing Public Domain Audiobook at LibriVox.